Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a Hollywood look with presets in Lightroom. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I am a French photographer living in the beautiful, the incroyable city of Paris, France, and also the very sunny city of Los Angeles, California. And I make not one, but two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the presets I'm going to give you. And there are really cool Hollywood presets. And all you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter. For this, you just go to my website, photosearch.com, click on sign up, put in your email address, you will get an email, and boom, you create a password and you will be subscribing to my daily newsletters. With this, you can go to the free lesson and you can download hundreds of free presets, raw files, brushes for free. And you will get my daily newsletter with free tips, amazing discount on my premium tutorials, and all kind of goodies. All right, so I want to talk to you about the Hollywood look using presets. And this is after a comment I got on YouTube. Let me show you what I mean. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So, last week I published this video on, on using Lightroom presets to make a cool, urban, desaturated look. And this week, um, I asked for people to write a comment on the video if they wanted me to do uh, to teach them another type of look. And if you look on the comments on the video, there's this gentleman, Mr. Ken Tranven, who says, um, uh, oh no, it's actually, sorry, it's Mr. Insane Joker 52 says, please make a tutorial on achieving this look. And if you click here, you come to a Flickr pages and you see um, this person look. Now, when I looked at this for the first time, I'm like, hmm. This reminds me something, especially uh, this type of photo, this one, or this type of photo. It reminded me of the Hollywood look, you know, which is called like the tilt orange look. You can see here, there is some like blue, green here, and then a lot of orange. Like the dominant colors is basically orange and tilt. And that's something you see a lot in Hollywood movies. I actually did a tutorial on this back a while ago, which is here. It's called, uh, I think this was, it was October 2013, so that's been two years ago. It's called Creating the Hollywood Look. Uh, you can check it out, there's actually a link to this video, and I'm, and I'm going to do a very similar video, but with a little different twist, and we're going to see how we can apply this with preset. That's what I call the Hollywood Look. So let me give you some information first on the Hollywood Look. The Hollywood Look is... Um, well, the whole idea is when you want to make a movie or when you want to make a portrait, you want the people to stand out. You want, you know, whether it's using, a, you know, a shallow depth of field or color techniques. For example, this is uh, Shia LaBeouf in Transformers. You can see his face is very orange, the car is very yellow, and everything else is kind of like between blue and green. This is Star Trek. Uh, you can see the face of the actor is very orange and his jacket here is very blue and green. This is Rush from Ron Howard, beautiful film. You see how there's almost two colors only. You have oranges and green or blue and green. And the reason for this, let me show you, this is again from Rush. You see how the nurse is very warm and everything else is very blue. This is from The Hunger Games. You see Jennifer Lawrence is very orange and her hair, instead of being dark, they are like dark blue and this is dark blue. Now, there is a reason for this, and it comes to uh, the, com the color wheel and the complementary cars. If you go on Adobe Color CC or coloradobe.com, you can play around with the wheel of, of colors. And um, I've chosen what we call complementary. Complementary colors is colors which are opposites on the, the wheel. Now, the human skin values are usually red, orange, yellow. They are around this range. And what is the opposite of orange and yellow? Well, it's this color between blue and going toward the green. You know, if you've got a very, somebody you very, you know, very orange like this, then you go, you're going like this. So blue and, and uh, blue and green is really the opposite of warm and yellow or very red. So basically by using complementary colors, colors which are opposite to each other, you see like, let me see something like this. Like this would be more like a skin color, for example, here. Look, the blue and the green, like turquoise type of color is really opposite. So it's going to make your actor or your portrait stand out. 
or whatever you're doing. But it's become so popular that we can even apply it to a urban landscape because it's it's what we call the Hollywood look. So basically, I'm going to try to mimic this. Let me see on this photo uh, what this gentleman has been doing here. We have this and uh, now I'm going to try to reproduce this in Lightroom and try to use presets so that we can reproduce it on other photos. So first of all, I'm just going to open up the shadows big time on this one, bring down the highlights, not so much. And then I'm going to bring my blacks and my whites. Okay, but if we look, he's got a the photo in the center is not so contrasty and around the corners it's very contrasty. So what I'm going to do on this one is maybe I'm not going to bring the blacks too low and maybe just boost a little bit this the exposure or do a little minus contrast something like this as a base. Okay, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a lot of I'm going to enable profile correction of course bring click auto on the upright so that we have this done and then I'm going to do some post crop vignetting. Okay, so if you do post crop vignetting on on a photo that is decontrasted, you get this sort of look where the middle of the photo is not so contrasty and it becomes more contrasty around. That's interesting. And then I'm going to do a little minus clarity because he's got if you look at it it's kind of like a, there's a very much diffused light. So I'm doing this also on this photo. So we got like a, a beige, but it's it's not the same color. Now, because I want to use presets, um, I'm going to take the approach of using um, radial filters and using gradient filters because I'm not going to use brush because brush does not. And maybe in a later version of Lightroom, this is going to work, but you cannot save it as a preset. Uh, let me show you what I mean by that is that if I go into my Hollywood looks here and I try to save this as a preset, you see, I can save a lot of things, but in the um, in the local adjustment, I only have graded filters and radial filters, meaning that I'm going to have to create this look only with this tool tool, and I cannot use brushes, and I love to use brushes. So it's a bit of a handicap for me, but that's fine. So I'm going to take a graded filter. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to, I'm going to go to colors, okay, and I'm just going to make a, a nice gradient. Right now, nothing's happening, but check this out. If you click on color here, I'm going to go between the blue and the red and you see here now I'm at even maybe going to lower a little bit the exposure and if you go up here your color is very saturated if you go down here it's very desaturated so basically the U which is mean which color is from left to right and the saturation from up and down basically and it's a uh, half saturation and so you have here yeah, basically so i'm gonna let's check out the photo the photo is, is very blue on top and very green at the bottom so i'm gonna try to mimic that i'm gonna put some blue on top like this okay so now we got blue on top i can make that gradient a bit bigger okay and then i'm gonna make another one boom another gradient you see automatically it did what i did here but on this one i'm gonna go a little bit more green a little bit more green so we got blue on top green at the bottom and what he has is blue on top and green at the bottom okay so it's pretty similar now we need to take care of the middle so the middle because we cannot use gradient for the middle I'm gonna use a radio filter I'm gonna make a I'm gonna go to colors again I'm gonna make a big radio filter that's gonna be the center of the photo and um, I'm gonna click invert mask so that this what we're doing is only influencing inside of the circle and I'm going to go and add some colors, but this time I'm going to go into the warm, the orange colors, something like this, very saturated. Let me see how he did it. It's very in the reds, so maybe even more in the reds, something like this. And you can even add even more saturation to make it really crazy. And now we got a very similar look, you see? If I show you the before, that's the before photo, that's the after. We really definitely got this sort of Hollywood look to it. And uh, yes, that's about what I would do. So now I'm gonna save this as a preset. So that's very important. So when you have a look, save it as a preset. So I'm gonna go here in my Hollywood looks and I'm gonna give you a few of these presets to play around with. I'm gonna call it Hollywood 2 because I already created Hollywood 1. I'm going to put it in my Hollywood Looks folder, which I'm going to give you for free 
if you subscribe to my daily newsletter and I'm gonna make sure everything is marked and cl cl click on create. Now that I've got this preset, I can click for example on this photo, similar type of lighting, I can go Hollywood 2 and boom, in one click, I've got the look. I've got the look, I can then, you know, of course, as I always say, a preset is always a starting point. You know, on this one, I'm, uh, I might add a little bit of contrast and I might take the radial filter, which is here and just make it, make it a bit smaller, maybe more centered. You can also always change the color, you know, add more yellows into it or not, but it takes, it's very fast. You know, for me, a preset is a starting point on this one. I would even add a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more contrast, but it was a good starting one. Let me show you the before backslash key and the after we gave this sort of Hollywood look in one click. Amazing. Okay, one last one. Let's go here. I'm going to go Hollywood 1. Check it. Uh, how is Hollywood 1? Hollywood 1 is very blue. And Hollywood 2 is blue at the top and green at the bottom. Okay, pretty similar. I love it. I love it. So that's how you can apply this sort of Hollywood look on the photo. That was a challenge I was given. And I'm going to give you a whole bunch of presets for free. Now, all you have to do, as I explained to you in the beginning, is you have to go to my website, uh, which is here. You go and you have to sign up. You click here, you sign up, put your address, email address. You're gonna get an email. On this email, you just have to create a password. Once, you, once you've done that, let me log in. So once you're logged in, you just have to go to free lessons and you can go to any lesson you want. Like for example, last week, the, uh, the lesson that I did on using Lightroom preset, and you can click here on download source files. And this way uh, you can install the preset. So you're gonna get a zip file. Once you get that zip file, you just go into Lightroom. You go into Lightroom preferences, um, second type preset, show Lightroom preset folder, you see here. Okay, you click on that and then boom, it's gonna open up the finder here and uh, make sure you go here to develop preset develop preset and you just click and drag the Hollywood look folder in there you restart Lightroom and you're good to go you're ready to use this preset so let me show you again in full screen the before and after before after and let me show you the last one before after before, after. It doesn't work on every photo, but you should give it a try on some of your Harbor landscape. You'll be surprised what you can do with this Hollywood look.